So welcome back everybody to Forza Horizon 4. We're uh, yeah going to be doing a road racing series race and uh, yeah, yeah accidentally missed it there by a fair bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be trying out this Eagle Speedster, see what it's capable of doing racing. We've already seen what it's capable of when it's upgraded on how fast will it go. So uh, yeah, I know it's asking for modern sports cars actually. Uh, well, we'll do a blueprint. We'll uh, do what I'm in at the moment. Uh, anything goes. Yeah, we'll do anything goes. Because I've been uh, dying to see what the Seagull Speed can do in a race. As it's, yeah, a cracking vehicle, not very much in the way of weight and plenty of horsepower and the uh, torque. And uh, yeah, on top of that, it's a beautiful machine as well. So glad it's back in the Forza series. Right, we're getting a charger to the left of us. What else? New Audi TT, got Lancia, Ford Focus. A few Ford Focuses actually. vehicles on this bit. Which means I am by far the lightest car here. circuit this one. Four laps as well, usually only have been three up until now. I guess because it's quite a shorter trap than the uh, previous ones. Just a few, uh, one more lap. Eagle, you can do better than this. I'll break myself there. Charger. Right, just got the TT to beat now. Got those two yacht, larger yang, land yachts out of the way. TT just mi uh, beat me there by a car length, but the Eagle Speeds I think did pretty well there, considering it's uh, yeah by far got some, probably some of the least horsepower there. And even if the Audi TTS has about the same horsepower as me, it's got all-wheel drive and it's a bit more modern than uh, I am. So uh, yeah, that's still all right. Second place is nothing to be ashamed of, especially since I've got the far better looking car here. Bond would be more likely to drive an Eagle Speedster than a uh, Audi TTS. 
I've still got plenty of influence out of that. We're not far off the autumn showcase, or the spring showcase, whichever one it is. But we're on road racing round four nonetheless, and we've got the Lamborghini Huracan, which is a decent supercar. It's not my favourite Lamborghini by any means, but it's a decent one nonetheless, and I've got it for free, so can't really complain. Right. You're through to round four. New road racing events have been added to your schedule. The competition's really heating up now. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, I think I w if I'd have been on a uh, bit of a, uh, you know, more straight orientated uh, circuit there, I would have uh, been all right in that eagle. But yeah, we're gonna do a uh, street race now. Let's see what this one's made of. I might stay in the eagle, but we'll see what else we can choose from if they're asking for a specific type of vehicle. We'll just enjoy this car along the way. Let's take in some of the sights. For a lot of the time that I've been playing this game off recording, I've just been driving around and enjoying a bit of classical music and just enjoying the sights and sounds of this game. Not particularly going very fast or anything like that, but just enjoying oh dear, what this game has to offer. Outside of the speed and the gameplay aspects. Eagle's not meant for this kind of thing. I do wish they'd change the GPS system so that if you're in a car that isn't off-road orientated it would only take the roads. And if you were in a 4x4 it would take any route there because it just seems a bit unnatural to be driving this kind of thing on this road. Here yeah, we got some smooth tarmac now. Hopefully uh, the next Forza Motorsport game does have this car in it because usually when the Forza Horizon game has cars are new to the series or returnees. They do make a uh, an appearance in the next motorsport game. It's not been true for every car because obviously the Gremlin X was in a uh, Forza Horizon 3, but then it wasn't in Forza Motorsport 7. So uh, I do hope it's the case for at least some of the cars, especially the likes of this Eagle Speedster. Car to drive. You have arrived at your destination. Right. If we can stay in this eagle, we might well do. This is because this looks like a more speed orientated race than the last time. And this car, when it gets going, is pretty damn quick. But yeah, we do. We get to stay. I forgot. We get to stay in whatever car we turn up in. So uh, let's see what it can do. We'll get a bunch of Fords again. This game seems to be obsessed with the Focus RS. Road in there. Ooh, God damn, those walls do really slow you down. Oh, and he can beat these hatchbacks, surely. Oh, 
gets a warthog as well for whatever reason. As well as a Mustang. An Audi TT up front as well and another four focus. Get out of the way, Halo car. Master Chief is not driving that. If he was, he would have have a shot you would have ran me off the road. This car has got really good turning. And despite the fact that he's obviously modelled on a much older E type, it doesn't handle like one. I wouldn't call it a, not a challenge to drive, but when you get it right, you really are rewarded. And uh, yeah, we got it well right there, getting first place. So there we go. Beat the focus by more than a second there. Yeah, youth in your young cars. Granted, mine is still a 2012 car, but it is obviously based on a much older design just with plenty of modern components underneath. Ooh, nearly leveled up, and oh, we nearly got that GTR as well. Yeah, so we're less than 20,000 now from that uh, the roster. It was the roster that we're far off, not from lately, not the spring showcase or whatever. Hey, remember that XJ we found? I fixed it up. You can nice. grab it in the garage when you're ready. Right. I know that. You don't have to tell me. He just told me himself. Alright, I think we'll go do... This. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get there. Because it looks like a pretty uh, fun thing to be doing. Alright, let's see what this uh, showcase is all about. Looks like we're in that new Ford rally car, I think, that we uh, that is new to this uh, series. So we're up against these guys. Just like in the uh, opening race. Oh, I imagine it's a lot more difficult. So, how are you on the dirt? Pretty good, right? I've seen you drive. Are you better than, let's say, a dirt bike? Okay, but are you better than four dirt bikes? I don't know, but we'll find out. I'm not sure whether or not this is the new f uh, Ford Fiesta rally car in the game. But either way, it should be uh, more than capable of dealing with this stuff. So let's get out there. Yeah, this looks pretty much exactly right, guys, the same as the uh, opening race. Like I said, it's probably a little bit more difficult. Did we just lose yellow? Yeah, it's pretty much going the same as last time. <laughs> oh well. It was an enjoyable race, and I don't think we completed the whole thing anyway in that opening. Coming up on the quarry. teaser. Wee! It's a pretty fun race nonetheless, and uh, yeah, once again it shows off the different kind of surfaces that are on this game that you can go along. Hey, Fred the needle. Fred the needle with me. Nearly failed, but did it nonetheless. On your asses. You ain't gonna lose me that easily. Red's down, red down. The 
Looks like I'm the only one left. Yeah, and you're gonna go down as well because your mock cross bikes cannot can go 130, that's for sure. Well, that was easy enough. I guess it wasn't any more difficult than before. That was amazing. I have a team of slightly bewildered motocross riders who all want to turn behind the wheel of your car now. I'm assuming you don't need to go on bikes. Nah. And I'm actually quite glad that you haven't put bikes on this game because that would have just taken up more space for better cars. So, uh, yeah. This is a uh, far better game than the Crew 2, quite frankly. I mean, the Crew 2 was an improvement over the first one because the handling was better and uh, graphically it looks slightly better, but it's concentrated on way too many different kind of things to no, be any good I in any single area. Wrong because I'm still not seeing you on the horizon roster. While I look into this, go and teach me a lesson, will you? We're not that far off. Only about 12,000 uh, influence points away. But yeah, the crew too is just a bit flat, really. Horizon, where we team playing in the dirt very, very seriously. <laughs> Welcome to round five. Indeed. So let's see what else we've got. What are we close to? We're across co across country. We're not done another one of them yet. So let's go do that. Let's throw me out of the Ford. Back into my Eagle. In 100 yards. Oh, it's only a mile or so away. In oh, we certainly yards. won't be cross country in this left. car. But yeah, the crew too. It's just the the handling physics on the cars are better than they were in the first game, but they're still no way near as good as this game. And uh, yeah, every other kind of type of event, the boats, the planes, just boring really. And then the fact that the car list is tiny compared to this, we've got more than f we've got 450 cars standard, and then obviously we've got more coming along the way. And that, what, had 120? I think maybe not even that. So yeah, this does trumps it in every way. And then the audio, and the fact that each surface on this game feels like a different surface on the Crew 2. They either just slowed you down a bit, or just slightly uh, made cars handle a little bit differently. They didn't feel different. They didn't make the car look like it's handling different. Just slightly made cars a bit more oversteer at times really. Extreme off-road. Do we have any cars in that discipline? Yeah we do. We've got the trail cat and the warrior. Uh, the trail cat's a bit better. Right, we're going to end this episode where we are started. I think. No, we weren't in the trail cat. Stop. I do apologise. I uh, I'm getting my episodes mixed up. But this is a cracking car nonetheless. It's got the Hellcat engine in it, so it's more than 700 horsepower. Huge ground clearance, big fat tyres, off-road suspension. Should more than be able to deal with this kind of off-road stuff. Certainly deal with it a lot better than the uh, we're in the Jaguar James Bond car in the snow at one point. It's doing one of these, so uh, yeah, we'll have a much better time than this. We right, we're in the quarry, I think that we uh, went through in the uh, showcase event just now. My bowler. Could buy Arctic trucks, Toyota, Warthog, and something else in front. Plowing through the water there. No troubles whatsoever. Oh dear, the 
bombs everywhere. Get out of the way. Right, I'm the windy sun warrior. Oh, I think it is. Stop concentrating on the car. Damn it. Too busy looking at the cars and uh, looking at the road. Oh, well, the course. Mind out the way, sheep. You don't want to get run over. Come on, V8 power. Oh. If we can get that angle a bit better, I'm not bashing to him. Maybe we'll do better. Yes! Crashing does not always work. Yes! Pleased with that. Makes up for the previous cross country race in our previous episode. Yeah, it was a Nissan Warrior. Glad I didn't pick that then, because uh, we might not have been able to pass first place. Slowly building up our money again. I'm kind of saving up for that, for that Bentley 8 litre. That is uh, one and a half million credits, so uh, yeah, desperate to get that car. Right, not far off now, getting up to the uh, the roster. But yeah, nonetheless, we're going to end it there for today. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly have. We had a bit more success than we have in previous episodes. You're going to crash into me, aren't you? You idiot. You had all the time in the world to stop there. Ruin my outro. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what else there is to do in the next episode. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.